Okay, this piece is for the Women's Luncheon on August 26th. My name is Ramona Smith, and I would love to open for you guys with a small piece of um, poetry. I haven't put a title to it yet. Um, I don't know. I'll figure out something, but I would like to open for the luncheon. Um, and here it is. It says, um, Still I rise, said Maya Angelou. Like dust from dirt, like suns and moons, like dense objects in water, like a blooming toddler ready to stand and walk, like a mother before her daughters ready to give them the birds and bees talk and teach her little girls that the round belly which holds the future life goes hand in hand with a snugly fit wedding ring. Mother equals wife. Daughters, sisters, nieces, aunties, mothers, and grandmoms, we are all creators of life. We are the arms of the universe embracing God's children, whether scraped knees or out of wet like babies. A woman's warmth feeds these empty spirits like a Sunday morning brunch, like my favorite school lunch. Nothing eases the pain quite like a woman's touch. On the ninth day of the first month, she made history when she gave birth to me and through the battles and wars of a black queen to bring existence to me. She never knew that her little queen would bring peace and truth to a room near you. See, it might be a man's world, but it would be nothing without a woman. And yes, we all want to be filled with the fairy tale that our handsome prince is coming, but in most cases, he never shows. So we prepared to be single moms because it was taught by our moms to be self-sufficient and to be independent. So if the prince does arrive, he doesn't have a place to fit in. Each generation tells tales of previous. And it's a fact that we adapt the same habits and values as the generations that preceded us. So I imagine what my kids will learn from me. Because when my kids' kids have kids, I want them to refer to great grandma as the truth. If we want to change something, we must start with the youth. If I want to see the change, I must be the change I want to see. Empowerment, education, self-love, and peace. It is our job as women to mother our communities, to increase graduation rates and decrease poverty, to courageously explain to our young ladies that their bodies are not to be treated as a buffet, but as a sacred temple, to instill in them self-worth and intellectual mental. See, it doesn't matter where you have children or not, because it takes a village to raise a child, something I think a lot of us have forgotten. And race and religion don't matter at all. United we should stand, but if we are divided, we will fall. So I challenge every ear my voice resounds in today, every head looking my way to start to be the change today, to not be afraid to comfort that troubled child and say, baby, it's gonna be okay because you're beautiful. And have confidence in that child and help her follow through and give her confidence through you so that she can believe that all of her dreams will come true. I'm telling you. Our future lies in the youth, but the change will have to start with me and you. Thank you. And that was just kind of rough and choppy, but um, that's, that's what I want to share with you guys on the 26th. If there is a space and, and, and time granted. So, um, thank you. Hope you like it. Hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.